Hello? Are you the owner of this shop? Boss, can you come here for a second please? Shut the bloody hell up! Can't you see I'm busy doing the meetings? Who the bloody hell is asking? Your landlord! Oh. Now where is my rent? You haven't got your rent yet? What? That's, that's very odd. <laughs> I must have got lost in the posting or something. Nobody sends money by post. Do I look like a fool to you? Absolutely. Well, I am not. I am a successful businessman. I opened two kebab shops this year. I had to close them down in the first few weeks, but it's still a very good achievement. Congratulations, your family must be very proud. You listen to me. If I do not get my money by the end of the month, you are out faster than my wife kicked me out when she found out I was having an affair with our dog. What? She didn't give you a second chance? Just because you were banging your dog? Exactly. People make mistakes. A very small one, to be fair. And people do deserve second chances. Like the second chance you're going to give me to pay you next month instead of this month because the shop is not making any money right now. I don't care. All I care about is my money. If I don't get it next week, you are out. You will get your money, okay? You can trust me. I am a decent, top-notch guy. Good. By the way, is this your son? Oh no, that's just a kid I kidnapped. He works in the shop for free. Don't tell anyone. You, you know what? I shouldn't have asked. I do not care about anything. All I care about is my money. If I don't have it next week, you are out. How about I buy you a dog? Listen! What are you doing? Possessed or something? I'm a successful businessman! Do not mess with me! I think you need a successful tailor, brother. Hang on, don't worry, I have something. Uh, can I interest you in a new shirt? That's premium! But I'm a successful businessman! I see it, I see it. Do not mess with me! No. I want my money next week or you're out! But you should really get a new shirt, brother. Teddy, Mary, Mary, Chingam. Sorry, boss. I'm only 45 minutes early today. My train got delayed. Excuse me, who the bloody hell are you? What? It's me, Kamran. Who's that? Your best worker. No, that's Chucky. Hi, you do student discount. Oh, oh stop f***ing me, man. Hang on, is this your first day, brother? I have been working for you over 10 years. Oh, oh um, <laughs> nice to meet you then? What you mean, nice to meet me? I meet you every day since the opening of the first shop, Bubblegum. Bubblegum, what's that? Anyway, boss. Have you made any money yet? Hang on a minute. Okay, hold your face and say, oh, this is hurting. Oh, this is hurting. Oh my God, I'm bloody remember you. <laughs> Sorry, you're just a very forgettable person. <laughs> yes, now that's a very good question, Caravan. It's Kamran. Whatever. Anyway, we haven't made any money yet. It's terrible, boss. What are we gonna do? The shop is not making any money. Such a big shop with so much space. But do you know the only thing that this shop is missing? A business license? No, only white people care about stuff like that. I think I know what will bring people in. Huh? What about sale boss? You know, I've only known you for five minutes now and I already want to kill you. What a bloody sale you perverted Mirpuri locksmith. No, I have a plan. What's the plan then? I can't tell you. Why not? Because we just met. You have known me for years. You know, you're really throwing your weight around considering it's your first day. It's not my first day. You bloody shot at your bloody boss, you be? I'm bloody going to cut you, Willie. Yes, I'm going to bloody cut your... Mary, Mary, Willie, you're cutting. I'm going to cut your Willie. La, 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 la. Oh, there you are, whoever you are. You want to hear about my plan? What's the plan, boss? <laughs> Basically, we need to utilize the space in the chingums. So what I'm thinking is tonight, we are going to hold a underground illegal fight club. <laughs> you what? And we are going to stream this on my son's YouTube channel, where all his fans will be able to donate on the super chat. But boss, yeah. your son doesn't even have a million subscribers. He's shit. He's a very shit comrade, but he still has a lot of fans all around the world. And he has a lot of subscribers. So if they do donate, and if we raise enough money, we can give that to the winner, which will be us. And we can give that money to the landlord, which will pay the rent, which will save the chingums. But boss, yes. I can't let you fight and sacrifice your health. You have too many people who care about you. Don't touch me. Don't you ever touch me. But you are right. Now I was doing a lot of thinking. And I'm thinking that I will not fight. 
you will win. What? And I placed a 30 pound bet on you too. But well, gambling is haram. Yeah, you're right. But when I placed the bet, I actually crossed my fingers at the same time. So technically it's a loophole. That doesn't even bloody make sense. I'm not doing it. Why not Catman do? It's Kamran. I say bloody thing. Okay, listen. I handpicked your opponent. And do you know what your opponent's name is? No. Well, I tell you. His name is a bloody Chotu. Boss. Yeah. You know Chotu means small. Exactly. I can do this. You are going to do this. So, me, Chotu. Boss. Yeah. Why his name is Chotu? When he's bigger than my house. What are you talking about? He's... He looks like a normal average guy, really. <laughs> <laughs> Who really likes bananas, I guess? Why does he smell like piss? He does, not it? It's like a pack of bears just pissed on him at the same time. <laughs> no, he smells like ulti as well. But you know someone doing ulti in the sea and then the fish do ulti too. So there's two ultis mixed together in the sea water which has a lot of salt. That's what he smells like. You know when someone puts out a cigarette, but instead of putting it out on a table or on the floor, he puts it out in his ass. That's what he smells like. Mr. Bombastic, fully fantastic. Can we check out? Okay, shithead, we need to talk. Don't you ever knock? Oh, I'm so sorry, Master Saab. I'm so sorry. And let me do this for you. There. You happy now? Yeah? Your titty's content? Look, blood, I'm busy right now, man. Can we just do this another- Ah, cool story, bro. Cool story. Anyway, I need your YouTube password because we need to log into your YouTube channel and we want to stream a live underground fight at the shop tonight. What's in it for me, though? What do you want? Like 20% of the takings. How about a roof over your head? What about that? Huh? You not think about that, or do you really want to be homeless now? Is that what you want in life? Okay, we have a deal. So the fight was set. And Kamran's training started. And even though I've witnessed him losing a fight against himself, I still believed in him. Okay, Kamran, we are going to work on your defense. Defend this. I want you to do something for me. Anything for you, boss. <laughs> I want you to put my ding dong in your mouth. What? It's gonna make you powerful. And it's gonna make you feel strong. It's gonna make you feel special. And it's gonna be very tasty. And it's gonna make you feel so sexy, very sexy. All I need you to do is close your eyes and open wide. No, I don't wanna put your ding dong in my mouth. Hey, shut up! Okay? Don't disrespect me. You're gonna do this and you're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna love it! Open your mouth! No! Show a bit of tongue! Take your tongue out, brother! No. Yes, you freaky man! It's gonna be tasty! No. It's gonna be tasty! No. What is this, boss? This is Ding Dong. Original bubble gum from Pakistan. Should really say chewing gum. But yeah, it's gonna make you very strong, like a camel. I'm happy, boss. I thought you meant something else. So make sure you eat this before the fight, because it's gonna make you feel good. <laughs> Actually, it's gonna make you feel bad because it expired four years ago. But don't worry about it, okay? Enjoy! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ah, oh, you stupid kutta. <laughs> Come on, are you ready? No, boss. I'm really scared. The key is positivity. You're gonna die. Shut the bloody hell up, man. What's wrong with you, Pakistani goblin? What you need to do is listen to my advice. And if you do, I promise you, you will stay away from any sort of harm at all. Please, boss. Tell me. Tell me, please. Come on. The secret to staying alive is... <sighs> I'm bored. I'll speak to you later. <laughs> boss, please. Please come back, boss, please. Who the bloody hell are you? 